Rapture, Tribulation, Heaven and Hell Testimony. A peek into eternity. A.N. Ob and the Spirit of Prayer. I had an out-of-body experience. My spirit came out of my body and I was traveling on a road. I was floating and flying gracefully just about 3 meters from the ground. I saw the moon brightly shining, where I passed it was illuminated. It was so real and clear, I began seeing nature, trees and I said to myself, this is real. I had another vision, I was at church, it was packed with people. I began to lead people into prayer, I gave two prayer points, it was so powerful, in that vision I spoke in different languages and tongues, I saw myself laying prostrate, while holding the mic, the tongues were anointed and flowed, I was amazed at myself and the church was on fire. A vision of angels rescuing people. In a vision of the Lord I was in an island. Then I began to hear God's vision voice talking about how Satan attacks soul winners and anything related to evangelism. I saw a great thick dark cloud, there were multitudes of evil spirits and witches in the atmosphere. God said to me, that people who win souls must be ready to face counter attacks of the devil, the enemy usually attacks them directly with sicknesses, then their finances and their homes, those who are renting sometimes their landlords just chases them from the house, then they wonder what is the real issue. Satan will be checking their consistency, if they will still follow God after such things happen. Then I saw the horses of God. We came and rescued one Christian who was badly injured. The horse carried him to an area. I saw angels wearing God's whole armor, they had breastplates, helmets, shoes, they had long spears, swords and weapons, they stood and were arranged into ranks. I saw one angel in a horse, fly and take the Christian and flew and left the island, going to safety. The angel, the horse and the Christian were just flying and racing the atmosphere under the skies gracefully. Then I was left with the army of angels, I saw how the angels were about the whole island and rescuing people, carrying them to a safe area, it was thousands of people. Then I remained with two massive, tall angels, they had strong and very muscular bodies, blonde hair and they were so powerful. One reached with his hand and touched the roof of the house, their spears were about three meters. Then we saw demons and agents of darkness, going about the island looking for people, and they were shocked, they couldn't find any, they went from place to place, building to building. Then the two angels I was within myself lifted from the ground, into the atmosphere. I was just looking at the incredible physique of the angels and anticipating our journey to others, while suddenly I came out of the vision. The rapture and the Holy Spirit. As I was on my bed, there came a heavy ob sensation. I started yielding and felt my body becoming weaker. Then I was moving out of my body and began floating over my bed and went back. I was on my bed then and Obe came. I got off my body and I was traveling in darkness my eyes shut tightly and I remember speaking in powerful tongues. I was back in my body. Then Obe's sensation came again. I left my body. I started racing the atmosphere at incredible speed. I was conscious of the rapture there. It seemed like it had happened. My mind was so clear. I was completely in the realm of the spirit. I was so free from this world. I felt how it will be like when the Lord appears and takes us on the glorious rapture. I was flying outside earth's sphere and went to the heights of the universe. I felt completely peaceful and joyful and secure. I had another vision. I was praying calling on the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Spirit. I saw a man of God. He was also calling the blood and fire of Holy Spirit. He said to me he saw something. He pointed and said he is seeing the Holy Spirit as a dove, then he said the presence of God will move when I see the dove in his movement. I said God, Lord I want to see. Then the man of God looked at me and he said authoritatively, you can see. Suddenly my eyes were opened and I saw a beautiful white dove at rest. I screamed and said, Lord I can see. I screamed in shock and I woke up. A vision of angel Gabriel. I am just coming from a vision. I was with my wife, I was playing keyboard and my wife was on my right singing, then looking at the door, I saw the angel Gabriel. He entered and stood before us. He was tall and had a masculine body. His robe and his spiritual body were translucent white, he shone. His hair was curly and touched his shoulders. He opened his mouth and said to me to me, somethings. He talked with me, for some minutes, he then asked me a question, which I replied, yes. Then he said to me, I will come to church on Sunday morning, I really appreciated that. When he finished speaking that, I saw him walk back, the same way he came in. I called to him, I said, 
Angel Gabriel, he said. Yes. I said. See you then, he said. Okay, he vanished. I saw myself on my bed opening my eyes and the time was 6.17 a.m. A.N.O. I had an ob I floated in the air around the room. I went to the door and while I touched it behold it was solid. I tried to go through the wall but I couldn't. I said to myself, what manner of ob is this, have my spirit materialized? Visions of Jesus. I was with a sister from church in a vision, then we saw Jesus, he was wearing purest white, he had long brownish golden hair, he walked before us. Then we saw Jesus sighted down and he called us, then we went to him. He began to speak to us. Afterwards I had a mighty ob. As I was in my bed, suddenly my spirit left my body, I started flying into the atmosphere, I felt the wind on my skin and face. I was really moving, in few seconds I was flying above the skies, I went through the stars and galaxies. Then I saw second heaven. I saw an alien spaceship, I came into it, then I saw their complex controls, like advanced airplanes, with many panels, controls, lights. I saw a woman held hostage, when I appeared, she was freed and she flew back to earth. I continued flying into the celestial realm and landed in paradise. I saw undying vegetation, before my eyes were flowers, manicured grass, hills and mountains. I saw different shades of colors, the skies were filled with brilliant rainbows and light. I was walking in perfect environment, seeing ponds and streams of clear water. I saw saints and angels moving about. Then I saw Jesus in white walking a bit far, crossing paradise going towards the east. I stood and said, Jesus. Suddenly I saw myself flying back to earth. In few seconds I was flying over USA, then California and then Los Angeles. I knew where I was. It was so real. I flew, just near, I saw tall skyscrapers, roads, shops, streetlights and cars. I said to myself, I am in Los Angeles, I am here, I am going to tell them at church that I went to America. I flew between the buildings like a bird, then flew over a road towards the east. I was saying, it's real, it's real, suddenly I was back in my body, I saw that it was now morning. My heavenly mansion, in a vision I was taken to heaven. I was in my mansion in heaven. I was walking in the yard. I saw people, some wore white, some other bright colors. I saw my niece, I saw my aunt. I saw someone I went to school with. I saw people who wore light gold. I saw that my yard was huge. When I walked outside, I saw a wall. It was stunning white, and then trimmed with some bright colors. The most beautiful wall, I said, wow. In the midst or center of the yard, stood a magnificent mansion made of heavenly materials. It had so many rooms. It had music rooms and upstairs. The interior of the house was stunning and filled with all kinds of furniture and decorations. It had high ceiling. Then as I walked around, I saw so many people greeting me. Suddenly we saw white snowflakes falling. Then we saw gold flakes then pink flakes then red flakes all kinds of colors falling into the yard and mansion. It was incredible. I felt so nice. All the people there knew me. When I looked at the east I saw a brilliant golden light shining brighter than the sun. It was the side of the throne of God. It was as the dawn of the morning. The setting made it look like it was eternal morning. My mansion and yard was studied with colors and decked with beauty. Everything was perfect. People were youthful, smiling and joyful. I saw kids playing and dancing. There was awesome sounds and music. I said to myself, the guys in church must come and see this. I was looking at scene before me, suddenly everything became transparent. I saw the most transparent and clear atmosphere. My sense of seeing was so magnified. I was amazed at what I was seeing, suddenly I was back. Meeting David and Solomon in heaven. In the morning, I saw an angel ascending back to heaven. This angel's whole body and robe was made of a flame, but the flame was golden. As he lifted his wings and flew up, it was just golden flame and light, light flashed from his face, he was so beautiful. He vanished into heaven. I saw myself walking in the golden stairway that led to heaven. It was large, beautiful and shining stairway. Then I met a group of angels on the stairway. These angels were so tall, they had masculine bodies. Each had golden hair, their faces were so youthful and golden, they looked like young men of around 30 years, and each had a unique face. They had white robes down to their feet and wore golden saddles. They were about 12 angels in that group. They stood staring at me, 
Then one angel spoke to me. Suddenly, I saw myself running on the streets of heaven, they were transparent and magnificent, then I came to a massive golden building. Inside there were decorations, I saw King David and Solomon. They appeared very young or youthful, like people of around 25 years. It was an awesome feeling around people of the Bible. It was my second time seeing King David in heaven. I was in awe. Then some things I saw and heard but can't be put in words. It was so awesome. Warfare in the spiritual world. Today early morning I had a mighty ob. I was in my bed. Suddenly I had an ob. It was so powerful and mighty that without warning I was taken and I saw myself suspended in the air. It was so shocking real. I was so high above the earth. I saw billions of stars a bit above me. I knew people were asleep down on the earth in our time zone. I saw my legs suspended on air it felt so solid like it was on a platform. As I looked at them I began to think, this is real, it is happening. It was so real and clear. I was putting on a flowing spiritual garment, my body was almost transparent and all my senses were more active. I remember looking down towards the earth, I saw a bluish atmosphere in the clouds. I was at high altitude. I was wondering how I arrived there so fast. I began adapt being there. I began walking in that realm. The Holy Spirit began to give me so much authority and boldness. He led me to begin to speak and decree. I heard myself speak through my spiritual mind. I said, Lord I bind the devil today. I bind the demons and evil spirits. I bind the works of the devil against my destiny in the name of Jesus. I began to speak in tongues, new heavenly tongues. It was deep tongues. I continued praying and listening to them as they changed and extended themselves. I began to remember how I always loved to pray in tongues when away from my body. I began asking God to take me to the third heaven. I was lifted up by great power and was flying through stars at an unbelievable speed. The speed was so much and powerful. I had to shut my eyes because I was feeling so dizzy. I also felt like I was spinning or tumbling upside down while flying. I was traveling so fast suddenly I was back into the earth. I saw a demon. A very ugly evil spirit, its face was so terrible, old and evil looking. Now it had been reduced in size, it now looked like a small doll. It fell to the ground. It lay there, paralyzed, helpless, it was arrested and whimpering. It looked like it was trying to speak. I said to it, devil you are trying to speak now when it is too late. I finished you. I walked away and saw my spirit entering my body and my eyes opened. I began to be shocked. I said, this is unbelievable. I felt the thick presence of God around me. My visit to heaven, Thursday, September 29, 2016. Today morning I had three obes. I was in a vision, suddenly my feet left the ground. I took off into the atmosphere. I went to a part in Gaborone and I took someone's spirit into a journey. We were wearing white robes and we flew into the atmosphere. Then I saw myself back. As I was on my bed, my spiritual eyes opened, I had another OBE, I was with the same person we flew into the atmosphere and we flew across the skies like lightning. In few moments we arrived in heaven. The place was full of light. It was transparent light. There were glassy walls and floors and streets. We saw mansions made of crystal. It was clear and beautiful. We knew where we were. We saw indescribable things. We heard unbelievable things and we experienced the presence of God in another way. The third obe, it was spiritual warfare. I was out fighting demons in obe and overcoming them. Vision of Jesus. I had another vision, I saw Jesus in an office seated down, I saw pastors, ministers, servants of God coming to him, bowing down and getting his approval or disapproval. Some he said, yes, and some he said, no. There were many, no's, vision ended. Various visions Monday September 26, 2016. In a vision Moses appeared and stood before me. He was looking at a certain area and I was looking at him. Then I heard the most powerful voice from heaven, rushing like mighty waves. The voice said, Moses, Moses, I will put my words in your mouth and you shall speak them, even if they might not want to hear them, you shall speak. When you speak my words, I will give signs and confirm it, people shall fear. It was like he was talking to me, even though he used the name, Moses. Suddenly it was like an earthquake, I saw the ground tearing apart and opening, like a giant sinkhole, people began to run in fear and terror. The scene changed. 
I had a vision, I was sighted to someone, I looked and saw a brother and sister. Suddenly from behind the sister, I saw a shining angel of God, he appeared as a bright light, he kept approaching, suddenly the sister's body was transformed, her body became translucent white, a new white robe appeared on her, her face became radiant and youthful, suddenly I saw her being lifted up into the atmosphere. It was phenomenal scene. I saw myself being translated back in time, I appeared in a place, I saw people at the tomb of Lazarus, weeping. Jesus instructed them to roll away the stone. He lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you hear me always, but because of the people which stand by I said it, that they may believe that you have sent me. I heard him call in a loud voice, I was standing behind him, he said, Lazarus, come forth, then Lazarus that was dead, came out alive. End. 1 Thessalonians 5 17, Pray without ceasing. Psalms. 104, 4, Who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Psalms. 34, 7, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. Proverb. 11 30, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Hebrews. 1037, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Luke 322, And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven, which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. Luke 119, And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. John 14, 2, in my father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Point three. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Ephesians 6.10 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Point one one. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Point one two. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Matthew 7:21. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Revelation 1:10. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet, eleven, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And, what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Rapture